He's done a good job working throughout the summer, and, and it's an ongoing process. He's a young player, uh, continuing to get stronger, you know, play the game with physicality. He has great hands around the basket, uh, has, uh, is highly intelligent, understands the game, and those, those, those little things that come with time, you know, just keep playing, keep watching film, keep studying, spend time in the weight room. And that kind of stuff. And Do you guys see him as uh, po possibly a potential uh, uh, bigger role in the rotation next year? Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's why we're here. You know, working, we believe in him. We believe in him, and that's why we're putting all this work uh, into him, and knowing that he will turn out to be something very positive and imp an important piece for us. Absolutely, yes. Coach, uh, up 57 51, kind of mid third quarter, and then it started to get away from you a little bit. What was going on there? You know, it's just. We, we never really played with the grit that we know, you know, that we've, we've displayed in other games. Uh, we kind of were not in sync in, in, in what we were doing. Guys were playing hard, but then, you know, you would work hard for three, four passes, and then all of a sudden they get open right under the basket. So some, of, some of it was also just a, a mental focus a little bit. Uh, we'll look at the tape. The tape will tell us um, the, uh, the exact stories, take away the, 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 the emotions, and we'll be able to have a better answer for you. Right now I can only talk from, you know, what I remember. 35 threes, um, half the shots were threes, but it seemed like a lot of them were open looks, just not making them. Well, exactly. You know, if, if we, we told our guys, if, if those threes are come from our offense, we have no problem with you taking them. Now, if, if, if you will celebrate them when they go in, you got to be able to live with them also when, when they don't go in and maybe find other ways to be productive, uh, maybe tighten up your defense, grab more rebounds, get out in transition, trying to get easier shots, you know, get in the paint a little bit more. More, maybe be a little more forceful, you know, with the dribble and not just settle for threes because sometimes you get a couple layups, a couple free throws, all of a sudden you feel good about yourself and that shot become, becomes a lot easier. Yeah. Fred's finishing ability all summer league has been fantastic and no more on display than today. Uh, just talk about his development throughout this league. Well, like I always say, you know, this, this kid works. He works. He has grit. Uh, good mentality. He has a quiet force ab about him. He gets into the paint and, and tries to finish. He's not very tall, so he's got to be skilled in there. And he puts in a lot of work. On the what's, he, what's he doing to, to be able to finish like that? I mean, I, I see him he's able to finish off the wrong foot a lot of times. Right. Is that helping him? Well, you're asking the wrong guy. Yeah. You're asking the wrong guy. I know he works at it. Yeah. He works at it, but I think that's, that's his gift. That's one of the many gifts that he brings to the table, his ability to get in there and finish those shots. Coach, what did they do uh, offensively that kind of took you out of where you wanted to force them or get them to go defensively? I think they had big bodies. Their physicality kind of wore on us, you know, our younger guys. Yeah. Uh, I think they took our legs a little bit. And then on top of that, they did a good job. Got to give them credit. Yeah. Moving their, guard, their guards from one side to the other and bringing them back so they would keep, they would, they would keep you engaged on the weak side mm -hmm. as they pound you uh, on, on the other side. So it's a challenge because yeah. you you got to move and still find a way to relocate and find the ball and put yourself in a position where you can help. I think, again, I got to look at the tape. That's part of the reason why all that movement and all of a sudden they get something inside and there's nobody there covering it because everybody's busy chasing, chasing the basketball.